Hi, Alexa Henderson. Daddy Curtis Henderson. Actually, uh, I want to say this is another learning video that I wanted to put together for my baby girl. I got so many different things that I want to say. Uh, I personally feel like this is the only way that I can get through to you <laughs> because they are not letting me put my input into you. I just generally just want to go over some things. Like I said, you know, this is going to be the YouTube internet educational video for Alexa Blessed Henderson. <laughs> the reason why I choose this method is because um, even though I'm living in Texas and you are living in California and these people are very difficult you know what I mean they're they being very difficult and they, and they are not being fair so I figure you know I, I don't have time to be arguing and fighting with these people. I mean, that, that stuff is just, it, it, it's childish. It's child play. <laughs> and basically, uh, I just want to uh, educate my daughter about some things in life in general so that when she grows up, she got to know what's going on. And she's going to have her father input through the internet, through YouTube. So this is pretty much the only way that I can get through to my baby girl, Alexa Blessed Henderson. I just want to tell you about some things in life in general. So if you're feeling down and out, if you're feeling down and out, I mean, talk to your teachers. I mean, if this stuff is really bothering you a whole lot because they are not letting you talk to your father, I know I know it's bothering you. I know it is because I feel it in my spirit. And it shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't have to hold, you know, all of this stuff in you know, the things that is really bothering you. This goes for any child that's going through some type of mental abuse within the family because the adopted grandmother chooses to keep my daughter away from her father and not let her communicate with her father. And I've been to court, I did all that stuff when I was living out in California and Patricia Robinson pretty much just made everything complicated. And I do seriously believe in my heart, you know, one day you reap what you sow. I mean, I was brought up, you always treat people the way you want to be treated. I mean, you, you do good things, good things come back to you. I mean, you be, let's see, what can I say? If you be like just very difficult and evil and doing all sorts of evil things, say for instance, a person get into a gang or, or go out and rob a bank or just do some crazy things, you know? But guess what? Eventually, this stuff is going to come back because what goes up must come down. And I feel like this video is, is, is very educational because I'm talking to Alexa in general, 101, just about things in life, you know. You know, hey, hey, Alexa, how you doing? I mean, they took a lot away from us between you and your father bonding together. 
since you was a baby, Patricia and Veronica just took so much away from us. And I know it has hurted you so bad. Trust me, it hurt me too. And as a little girl coming up with all this hurt and this pain, I mean, I know what you're feeling right now. And I just can't believe that your mother, Veronica Robinson, is catering to this kind of stuff. She didn't even step up and try to make anything right with you and your father. She just pretty much just let Patricia Robinson do whatever she wanted to do. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty messed up when your adopted grandmother just totally destroys your life and then got your mind in a sense where she won't even let her say, hey, look, my father needs his daughter in his life and my daughter needs her father. See, Veronica Robinson is a 33-year-old grown-ass woman. Why don't this woman just step up to the plate and just say, hey, look, you know, I'm calling my baby father and let her talk to her father. I have no intentions whatsoever of getting back together with Veronica. I don't need her. I mean, I mean, throughout all these years, I realized that that was a big mistake on that end. From that end, Alexa with Veronica, that was a big mistake. And I'm going to explain why. I mean, they hid a, they hid a whole lot of stuff from me. And all they had to do was just be honest. Hey, look, Veronica is throwed off. You know, it, it, she has some type of problem. They couldn't explain that to me, but they baited me in until they got me into a position that they wanted me to be in, and then they just totally tried to destroy my life, and now they're trying to turn my kid against me, but but it ain't it ain't working here, baby, because my daughter have my blood just like she do Veronica Robinson's blood. So my baby girl, Alexa, by now, I know she she just she just looking at Patricia and Veronica like, okay, y'all, y'all done did all this, you all done did all this damage here for like 11 years, have kept me away from my father and not letting me communicate with my father and told all kind of lies and and, and and tried to destroy his character. I mean, that was pretty low life. You know, when they when they made a false claim with the DA, and then when 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 Carla when Carla got involved, and then you know Veronica and Patricia was 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 telling all kind of lies. In other words. They tried to destroy my character. And I got all that proof stuff. You know, I mean, Carla just went out of the way about what Patricia and Veronica Robinson told her. But guess what? They was, they, they was like destroying and damaging my reputation. This is exactly what they did. I mean, I could easily, you know, take that to court. Oh, Patricia Robinson, Veronica, and Carla. I mean, I got the proof. So you see, my videos here are true. I have nothing to hide. This is my true story of what happened to me. You know, I was with my baby mother, and I got hooked up with the wrong woman. After she had the baby, her adopted mother just completely dogged me out 
And this is the honest God truth. So the way they did me, you know, and then now they just carrying on in this world like nothing never happened. I mean, how? I mean, I, I'm like trying to figure it out. How, how could anyone just live a normal life knowing that you totally destroyed a person's life and you just totally damaged a little girl's life from not having her father, you know? I'm kind of puzzled with that one. How could you how could you lay down every night and sleep knowing that you destroyed a kid's life? Her 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 blood mother and her so-called adopted grandmother. Now how could how how could they lay down and then look at my daughter every day knowing that they betrayed her? Then they telling her all kind of lies, man. You know how how? I mean, I'm not understanding that. But you know, I I learned to live with the pain, Alexa. And I learned to move on, you know. You know, I've been hurt so bad by these people. To be honest with you, I would never trust them again, because I pulled out my heart being real to these people and i was there for veronica all the way through everything and then they dogged me out and then patricia robinson did what she did that wasn't cool patricia but in a way alexa my main thing is to you is stay in school be happy Stay healthy. Take up all kind of different things to make your life better while you're young. You know, get your certificates. Get everything you need to do. I heard about that you could sing. Just take up additional classes and enhance that singing ability. So you'll know your range, you'll know how to project your voice, and you can like even add a little bit more volume to your voice. And uh, you know, you need to take those voice lessons to make you a better singer, okay? And also, I know it's in your blood, Alexa. I mean, take up, uh, you, you, you like doing videos, you know? I mean, remember this. This is in your blood. Is in my blood. Is in your blood. Take up movie production in school. You know, I mean, I know you're 11 years old, but give this some thought, Alexa. Take up movie production, video production, television production, singing, acting. I mean, you're out there in California. Take it all up and discover who you really truly are and what you can be and what you can really offer in life. Because I know, Alexa, you're going to really be somebody. And your daddy is really, really proud of you. And you stay in school, you know, and make good grades and just be happy. Your father always loves you, and your father is always thinking about you. It's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you. It just co it just it just happens to be this way because of, of the way Patricia Robinson made everything so difficult. And to be honest with you. I could never trust this woman again. They hurted me so bad, and all these years have gone by. And don't you know, they have never made the effort to say, hey, look, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm sorry I destroyed your life with your kid. I'm sorry that I took away all the bonding. 
I'm sorry that I hurted Alexa Henderson so bad for not having her father. Where is the fatherly love? You know, her father coming out to the school games and seeing her play tennis and seeing her play soccer or coming to the gathering. Where is my father? Why did my father attend? Patricia, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to explain to Alexa Henderson because she's not stupid. She know what y'all did. And y'all stolen a whole lot away from this girl and you're still doing the same thing. Don't you know by now, Alexa know what's going on and all you're doing is pushing her away. The older she's, she get, the older Alexa Henderson get, and she see you all for who you all are, things can very well change easily. I mean, you don't think that things gonna stay the same because eventually Alexa is going to wake up one day when she get older and she's going to see you for who you are. Yeah, she sure is. And Alexa, your father is a good man. And your father always loved you. Even when you was a baby inside of the womb. When Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson couldn't do anything because at a month to two months, Veronica Robinson was was pretty much just going through a terrible stage in her life where she couldn't deal with the pain and deal with all this stuff that was going on within the pregnancy. And guess what? Ron Veronica Robinson and Patricia Robinson will call me at my house and bring Veronica to my house. And immediately when uh, Patricia Robinson would dump Veronica off, I would just lay hands on Veronica's stomach and say, Daddy's here. And Alexa would get so happy. And, and, and I would just tell uh, Veronica, just lay down on the bed, and I'm going, I'm going to talk to Alexa inside of the womb. And that's exactly what I would do. Hey, Alexa, how you doing? Daddy's here. Daddy loves you. You know, please let mama eat and sleep. Your daddy's here. And she would just make that exciting, you know, like, my daddy's here. And all of a sudden, um, one thing I could say, Alexa always listened to her father. Next thing I knew, she just full of peace and love. And Veronica would say, now I can eat, I can sleep. Now, the moment when it's time to go home, to head out the door and get back to, to Moreno Valley, California, I get a call. Oh, I'm going through the same thing over and over again. The pain, the pressure. Veronica couldn't take it. So they would be calling me back up what to do. What this is telling you, Alexis, is that you really connected with your father inside of the womb, the father who loves you and who are there for you and will always be there for you. You got a good loving father. And any questions that you ever have in your life about anything in life, I mean, I meant, I meant it in my heart, please stay away from getting pregnant 12, 13, 15, 18, stay away from that stuff. Please get your awards and your achievements first. I mean, if it takes you getting uh, uh, educational, education training on different things, say like the older that you get, turn 13, 14, 15, I'm just going to keep it real. You know, take up sex educational training and classes because it's a price that you have to pay when you start dipping and dabbing. 
and this kind of stuff because I'm telling you, it's not like it used to be back in the day when I was a young man. It's all kind of diseases. Yeah, and I, and I want to talk to you about this. It's all kind of diseases out there now. And from my understanding, every kid between 11 on up should take this, what they call it? The MPV is some type of MPV virus or something like that. Sexual cancer disease and what that comes from is some kind of sexual disease. And from my understanding, I'm, I'm just going to educate you, okay? From my understanding, if someone have that stuff, it's like some kind of cancer, and they give it to you. That stuff will grow inside of you. Then all of a sudden, it was sprout out like some type of Christmas tree. And it's very painful. And the only way to get rid of that stuff, you would have to keep going to the doctor. And they would have to go inside of you and do some kind of surgical removal thing and cut that stuff out. So... But the purpose of this MPV is some kind of shot of, from my understanding, some kind of shot, if I'm not mistaken, or some type of, of injection or some kind of pills or something they would give you at 11 years old. So if that was to ever happen, where at least you are protected with this cancer stuff wouldn't grow inside of you. So you have to be very careful with that. And I hope these people are talking to you and educating you. Right now, you should be a long way away from all that stuff, trying to get involved with these little boys. That's not the thing to do. Make sure you are very well educated on what's going on because everything that looks good and sounds good, it's not good. Trust me. And uh, it's a whole lot of diseases out there. And that you do not want. And like I said, with that MPV, if you get that, that's some kind of sexual cancer thing. That stuff grows. And you got to keep going to the doctor to get that stuff cut out. So I'm educating my, my baby girl because I just get the feeling that Veronica and them are not educating you. And I'm going to educate you. And now you are at the age, I'm going to keep it real, you 11 years old, they should be talking to you about this stuff, preparing you, you know, about when that time of the month come around and what to expect. And what to do, don't, don't, don't get paranoid. I mean, if this stuff happens for the first time with you, Alexa Henderson, don't get paranoid. I mean, a lot of young girls, if they don't know, they will get paranoid and think that, that something internally has happened to them and they would freak out. So I'm giving you the heads up because I love my daughter and I feel like I could talk to her about anything because I don't want to see anything go wrong with my baby girl. I want her to know and to be educated about what's going on in her life. So if you don't know, maybe one day sit down and talk to uh, Veronica or whoever about this situation Tell me about this time of the month thing. What can I expect? Okay. How's it going to be? What do I need? What do I need to use? How long is stuff going to last? Every woman gets this every month. Yes. Let's see. Am I right? I think it's every month. And you have to use some type of pads or some type of insertion. Every month. It's just one of them things. The women have to do. So I'm just educating you. And then be aware about if you're thinking about 
slipping and dabbing and doing all this thing, you know, like trying to be active before your time, that's not a good thing. Because there's a whole lot of diseases out there. And you better be very well educated to what's going on because this stuff can can mess you up pretty bad. So you can take classes up at your school on sex education and different things, what to expect. That way you get the heads up and you know what's going on, you know, and you know how to deal with these situations, you know, before they occur. So I wanted to bring that about because I, I do know that they, they did say at about 11 years old, every young girl, any kid at 11 years old should take that shot because this is something that that helps kill that that virus whatever that is because you can mess around and slip and that stuff will get inside of you and mess you up and it just grows out like Christmas tree and it's painful and you got to keep going to the doctor and getting that stuff cut out. So I'm just educating you because I do know they said started at 11 on up. Most kids need to get that shot. So with that being said and uh, getting some education about you know, if you're thinking about dipping and dabbing, but you shouldn't be thinking about that right now. And make sure that you understand what's really going on. Don't let nobody talk you into that. Don't let anybody force you into that. And uh, just take good care of yourself and keep yourself protected because if you want to finish school and graduate, and get your scholarships, you're going to have to put that on hold. You know, if you can just get your scholarships, Alexa, and be all you can be, go to college and get your education and, and you set here on out and just put it in your mind when you do finish your college and get your career and all that stuff going on, find yourself one good man who loves you not just for somebody just to dip and dab with. Always remember this, Alexa. When you get your scholarships and you go to college and get your education, find yourself one good man that you can get married to and, and he have a career and you have a career and you all can be happy. See, this is what life is all about. And this is what your pop is here for to educate and uh, the only way I'm, I'm able to get through to you is through YouTube that big screen that computer you're looking at that big camera this is the YouTube educational program for Alexa Henderson because I love my baby girl and I want to make sure that we're on the same page and that you uh, get yourself together and stay on the right track. Pops love you and Pops always love you. You take care of anything you want to talk about. You, you can call me. You can email me. If you got to email me, just email Curtis Actor. Curtis, C-U-R-T-I-S, Actor, A-C-T-O-R. Curtis Actor at M-S-N dot Come. Curtis Actor at MSN.com. You can just shoot me an email if you got any questions about anything. Hey, Pop. Hey, Dad. Hey, Kirk. Got something on my mind. And remember, your dad been around a long time. And I want to see my baby girl know everything that's, that's what's going on because. You know, I, I don't know what to think about this thing with the way Patricia and Veronica is carrying on. I don't I don't know what the problem is. You know, 
How, how, how could you be so self-centered and only think about yourself? I, I don't know how you... I just don't know how your mother could live with herself knowing that she did not fight for you and she did not fight for me so that we could be into each other's life. I'm talking me and Alexa. Why didn't Veronica fight for her baby father? Well, it's simple. Patricia Robinson has her mind. And, and she's using and controlling Veronica, and she do not want her to have anything to do with her baby father because Patricia Robinson is afraid. She's thinking that I want to get back together with Veronica. But don't you know, Patricia, that was a big mistake for me in the first place with Veronica. And y'all hid so much away from me. I mean, you could at least told me that this girl, this woman was crazy, was thrown off. You could at least told me. You could at least, uh, uh, hey, hey, Kirk, um, let's sit down and talk about this situation here. And keep, keep it real, keep it 100. Got some things to tell you. Why didn't you tell me? See, Alexa, this is not my fault. You know? So what I'm trying to get to you, Alex, is just try to be be real with everything. Everybody, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's better just being for real. Just be up front. Hey, look, this is the way things are, you know. I'm going to tell you this and tell you that. Keep it real. Keep it 100. That way you'll save yourself a lot of heartache and pain. You won't have to worry about no problems. See, this could have been avoided between me and Veronica. Patricia Robinson had a whole lot of time to just say, Hey, Kirk, I'm, I want to tell you something. I mean, even though during that time, Veronica was, was about, what, 21, 22? When she met me through the internet, you know, they pretty much put her on me. You know, when I, I had just moved to California, you know. But but she could have easily told me. I mean, Charlie was man enough to tell me, hey, I'm glad she met you because to, to let Charlie tell the story, he thought Veronica was going to come up missing because he said she was just out there. She was dipping and dabbing with every man, everything, everybody. Coming up with all kind of diseases and all kind of stuff. And Charlie was very unhappy about the way Veronica's lifestyle was. And when she met me on the internet, he pretty much threw her on me because, I mean, he, he knew I was a good man, you know. People can tell by your character, by the way you are and and by the way you carry yourself and the way you treat people. I treat people the way I want to be treated. You know, I treat everybody with love, peace, dignity, and respect. And if you can learn to do that, sometimes you 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 get involved with the wrong kind of people and they just totally destroy your life, Alexa. Now you being set back because you did not take the time to check that person out to see what they was all about. So you're going to make some mistakes, but just make sure you think about everything before you do it because it's going to be a lot coming at you. Trust me. <laughs> but anyway, before I close, thanks for tuning in. To Alexis Henderson's learning channel. Yeah, that, that I think I, that's what I call it, Alexa Henderson Learning Channel. Because I'm gonna be telling you a whole lot of stuff about life. I can't talk to you, but I tell you one thing: you can turn on your computer and you can listen to your pop talk to you 
You know you got a good lemon pop. <laughs> and uh, I just feel like life is just too important for me to be worried about a bunch of bull crap about crazy people who just do not realize that this world is not about all that crazy stuff. It's about love, peace, and happiness. This is what this world is about. God put us here to be with love, peace, and happiness and to love everyone and treat everybody right. Read the Bible. When you get a chance, Alexa, read the Bible. It tells you all about life. And if, if they got you going to church and they not living by that, you think about it. If somebody got you going to church, they sitting up in church and looking at what they did to you and me, do you think that, that would make them perfect? No, no, no. That's the biggest hypocrite. Sorry to say, when you got people playing with the Lord's word and dipping and dabbing and doing all kind of crazy stuff and have never fixed all that wrong what they have done. And they sitting up in church and you see right before your eyes what they did was wrong. That, that, that can kind of bother you. But you got to try to understand this. Everybody who say they are Christian, they're not a Christian. They could be, how could they say that, sheep in wool clothing. They'll fool you. But the good Lord give you that spirit inside of you so you can understand and you can pretty much see these people for who they are. All you want is peace, love, and happiness. And to have your loving father in your life and to communicate and talk to your father anytime you wishes. You know what I'm saying? Why would a baby mother and a adopted grandmother do this to you? I, I, I never could understand that. Why would they do that to you? Why? But anyway, I'm going to close your pop loves you. Your pop always love you. Keep your head up. I'm going to be making some more educational videos. So thanks for watching. You take care. Make good grades for dad. Get them scholarships, Alexa. And I'm going to see my baby girl at the top one day. You take care. All the family say hello. We love you. You take care. And you be blessed. Alexa Blessed Henderson. Bye-bye. See ya.